Welcome to Tiny Rails, the fun little game with a train. And that's my train going past. Where I left it last time, I'd opened up the South America lower section of the map and was constructing stations there in preparation for completing that part of the world. This time around, I am going to continue on with the main story quest. And I'm coming into somewhere in China. The next part of the story wants me to go to Beijing to pick somebody up, I assume in preparation for going to uh, Moscow, I think. So I will head in the general direction of Beijing. Since the last episode, I'll go back to the map and zoom it out while I'm on my way to Beijing. I have completed the construction of all the stations in South America Lower. It took me a while because I had to keep going back to pick up more resources to do that. And I've also completed a load of the cargo requirements. And I have stored in my depot, or my depots, a large amount of the cargo I need to complete a load more of the requirements. So once I start doing that, I should complete the last part of the checklist, which requires me to travel another 10,000 miles in South America Lower. And that will complete the checklist for that area. I also completed two parts of the quest which had me go pick up some face masks and some voice distorters from two different locations. Really didn't progress the story that much, it was just cargo I needed for for the main story. So I didn't bother recording that bit, but I'm recording the bit about Beijing because I've got to go pick somebody up there, so I assume the story is going to progress. Ah, here's Justin. I have the map and the keys you requested. But this time, I need a favour from you. Okay. I like his hairstyle. Catalina. What is it you need from us? Justin. The golden hockey stick. Okay. That's a new one on me. Nesta. I didn't take you for a sports fan. Justin. It's not for me. I have a buyer interest in acquiring such an item. Catalina, it's a deal, but I need you to meet us at the Railway Coastal Museum in St. John's, St. John's, Newfoundland. Justin, that is acceptable. I'll meet you there. Oh, here's Julian. Do we have any leads on the golden hockey stick? Catalina, I just happen to know an underground market that might have what we're looking for. Oh, here's Monica, the thief. Jean-Marc, I'm currently tracking the Book of Gold. They are preparing to break into the Kremlin. I'll have the Book of Gold in a few days. That's where I thought I was going, was to the Kremlin. Oh, and here's Jean-Marc, the opposition. I have a code breaker ready to decipher the book as soon as it's in my possession. Okay. So, I've got to go buy the golden hockey stick from Kamloops in British Columbia, apparently. So I'm not going to Moscow just yet. And then I assume I go to St. John's in Newfoundland to deliver it. And then maybe I'll get to go to Moscow. Okay, so... Best way of getting to Kamloops... Well, Kamloops is... There. So... I'm thinking the best way of getting there is to take a boat to the USA Westport. And then head north. And the nearest boat location is over in Japan, the Asia East port. So I'll set my destination for there. Give me a chance to pick up some more jade along the way, which is a resource I'm going to need. Once daylight arrives, I'm going to buy some new cars because, as you can see, I have a couple of cars on my train which are ready to be upgraded to their final level. Let's collect any money that's in them. Right, so I will upgrade this car, the Fobol, and the Abrahams car, which is the passenger car I picked up for completing South America Center. So, what I'm actually going to do, as you can see, I've now got just over 7 million in the bank, is come daylight, I will get 
between four and six new cars, depending on how many of them are brand new. I've also reconfigured my train slightly. I'm using the same engine, but I've got... Oh, I'll wait till daylight appears before I try and show bits of the train, because it doesn't look that good in the, in the greyness of dark. In addition, about an hour or so, hour or two before I record this episode, Tiny Titan Studios released a new update, which has some bug fixes in it. One of which was the train trainery, which for the engine and caboose, it said I had 33 out of 29 engines, and same with the caboose. They have fixed this, so it now includes all 35 engines you can get on the PC version of this game, which is nice. It was a minor minor thing, it means it should actually include my current engine in here somewhere. So I don't, never did know its stats, the Eldorado engine. Plus 15 cargo when equipped in South America. Strangely enough, that's kind of useful for stuff I'm doing. So they fixed that. They also fixed a couple of other problems. One was something to do with jobs and not getting the gold you deserve, which I hadn't noticed as, as a bug. There was one with the depart option. If you had auto depart on, it gives a countdown three, two, one, zero, and your train moves. Well, when you switch back to non-auto depart, it still had the number zero underneath the word depart. They have fixed that, so that no longer occurs. I'd noticed that one, but it wasn't a big deal, so I hadn't even thought of reporting it because you know, I just thought it was okay. That's the way the game works. Didn't have a problem with that one. There are still a couple of bugs in the game. There is a list with the updates on Steam if you want the full list of the bugs they fixed, because some I've never seen before. Or hadn't noticed. I may have seen them and just not, not known about them. Okay, daylight's arriving so I can start to see my train. As it currently stands, I put this what's it called the Elven Archery car back on my train because it's open 24 hours a day for earning money. And I kind of like it because it's got some kind of animation with it. The Biggie Snake car is still on my train because it needs to get to level 3. When I upgrade to level 2, the the Biggie Snake inside this car got bigger. This car has been with me for a while, the Jal Jahira. I just kind of like it. As I said, the Fobol, probably the Abraham car, and possibly this car, the South Africa Lima car, will get replaced by new cars if they are of interest. And towards the back, I put the camel car back on my train and the crane car, just because I felt like it. I kind of like the camel car because it's got a nice purple outline. And the crane car because even though it has a cargo capacity of 13, it has a perk of plus 10 cargo, which means I can carry more stuff. Oh, I didn't bother to check to see if there's any jade at that station. Never mind. So that's that bit. Let me think. As I say, I'm gonna, I'm going to get some more carriages from the gumball machine, and I can't think of anything else I currently need or want to explain. Oh yes, when I complete the, I'll go back to the map, the South America checklist, and I'm just curious. Complete South America Lower Checklist, that will open up Southeast Asia West, apparently, which is one I already had opened before they did the big update and closed it to me. It will also, I believe, open up the Caribbean. Complete South America South Checklist, I'm thinking that's South America Lower. And Mexico, complete the Central America Checklist, so complete the Caribbean checklist so I need to get to the Caribbean then complete that checklist to open the Central America which will then open up Mexico what I am curious about is when I open up Southeast Asia West by completing the South America lower checklist will the depot I bought and all the stations upgraded be in the same state or will I have to start them anew I'm guessing the second one which doesn't bother me that much 
but the depot was expensive, as was upgrading all those stations, so I'm going to have to earn a lot of money to be able to do that. If it's the first one and everything's back the way it was, wonderful, because I've already got the engine and the caboose from that one, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, let me go to the market. Right, I want the jade and the wooden windows are useful. My depot is pretty much full. It's got less space than, for less than 100 things in it, I think. Because of all the stuff I've been going around collecting in preparation for the South America lower cargo deliveries. I think I've got in South America, in South America Upper, I think I've got three stations which still need cargo, which is all found in South America Lower. In South America Center, I think it's either four or five stations. Again, all cargo that's found in South America Lower. And in South America Lower, it's something like, I've still got something like 20 stations which have cargo outstanding, of which I've probably got cargo in my depot to satisfy 10, 12 of them maybe at this point and still more cargo to collect. So it's going to take me a while to complete that. But I'm making good progress. And also the stuff I find in South America lower will be useful for some stations in Africa and Oceania, which have cargo requests I couldn't fulfill before South America lower was opened. Yes, yeah, so a lot of talking about cargo without actually showing stuff, but I know. Ah, good jade. I also need to restock on lumber and wooden windows. I'm assuming I'm going to need a lot of them for the, the Caribbean. Oh, I need to press the depart button. Uh, here's my current depot. All this is building materials or factory building materials for the most part at this point. And I get to something like the salmon. I've got 355, 160 odd anchovies, 200 apples very little chai. Some chunks of amber. I might have to do a trip around Russia to get some more of that. Bit of mahogany stuff, sunflower, guava, pocket games, avocados, and a lot of this is enough to satisfy cargo requests for some stations. So I do need a load more jade, about another, probably about another hundred or so jade. But I don't have much, by the way, of wood windows or lumber anymore because of all the building I did in South America Lower. So, all in all, things are progressing well. I like my biggie snake car. And I'm wondering, as I go, oh, more wooden windows. Always nice. I might as well pick them up as I'm going through. The one bug which drives me to distraction with this game, which I don't believe is on the bug list of fixed, is normally when coming through Japan, it's normally Japan, although I have seen it in South America, is your train picks up a bit of the scenery and seems to kind of drag it along. So basically, it's normally the blossom trees I just went past, but sometimes it's grass, sometimes it's some other bit of scenery. It just seems to pick it up and drag it along with you. It happens more frequently in Japan than absolutely anywhere else. In fact, I only really noticed it because it happened in Japan a few times. And as far as I'm aware, that one's not fixed yet. I'm sure it probably will be in time. They're doing a wonderful job of fixing all the bugs that were outstanding. And I'm looking forward to finding some of these new cars, which I did say I was going to go get some new cars. So let me head to the wonderful gumball machine and I will try a rare roll at the cost of 300,000. Another biggie snake car. I've got one of those. I got one of those recently. All right, let's try another rare roll. Crane car, I've got one of those. It's currently on my train. Let's try a third rare roll. A candy food car. Okay, let's try a standard roll. Behemoth Cargo. I'm not doing very well for finding cars I don't have. I haven't been doing very well recently. Oh, a yellow cargo car. Yeehaw, I got a brand new car. And I'll go for one more rare roll. Just for the sheer heck of it. And I'll pack a pen car. That's better. Plus five cargo when equipped in South America. Okay, that's definitely going on my train. 
Okay, well at least I came out with two brand new cars out of that. Let me pick up the stuff I may find in Osaka. Nope, nothing I want in Osaka right now. So off we go. Which means... I get to play with... Oh, I've got a little bit of space. Right, the alpaca car is going on. This train, it needs to replace a cargo car. So, I will move it around at some point afterwards, but for right now it's just going right there. And what else did I pick up? A uh, piggy, piggy snake car, I don't want a second one of those on my train right now. Um, oh, that's the brand new car, the yellow cargo car. Okay, um, find a spot for you. Uh, I didn't pick up another passenger car. And you don't carry much cargo, so you replace the faux bowl for now. Okay, let me get through this station and out the other side. I'll hold one wooden, win one wooden window. Now down to just under six million. Okay. Let me go into edit mode and because I like to have cars that I'm trying to upgrade. Closer to the front of my train where I can keep an eye on them. That will do nicely. The alpaca pen car. It's going to take a lot of experience to upgrade that, just like the biggie cargo car. And it, it is a cargo car, it doesn't earn any cash. But it just looks cool. Hey, nope, nothing here I want, so... Off we go to the wonderful port. And I'll head to USA West and head up to Kamloops. I won't manage to get to St. John's in Newfoundland in this episode. So next time round, I will probably head to St. John's and also have done the whole of the South America lower checklist. So next time round, the Caribbean should be opening, which will give me something new and different to do. But I want to complete as much of the cargo requirements in South America as I can it to cost me almost 30000 to go to USA West. And then when we come out of USA West, we're heading north. Shouldn't take that long to get up there. Because opening the South America lower checklist will give me, of course, a new engine and caboose. And I think the new engine and caboose has... As clever as this one is, with the yeah, some teeth there, the, the face look this thing's got. The other one's got a cute doggy. The, the next one I will unlock is a cute doggy look. In fact, if I go to the trainery, and go to engines, see if I can spot it. There it is. The Mutz Cut engine. I've got a Mutz Cut car as well. I don't know what it's... There's plus five speed if using Mutz Cut's engine and caboose. Well I will be, so my speed will go up a bit. But I just think it looks cute. So I'm looking forward to getting that on my train. Yes, and this is, oh this is one, I wouldn't say it's a bug, but it, I'm not sure it's a feature. When you come out of a port, for the, can be the first one, two, three stations, your cargo capacity suddenly gets cut right down it as does your speed i don't know if it's some kind of calculation problem it has and it doesn't always happen sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but it does happen with, with relative frequency so like i said i don't know if that was intentional there's a lot of things i don't know there's nothing i'm going to want in portland if memory serves me correctly yeah 
I don't need any of that type of stuff. In fact, there's currently nothing in the USA apart from, well, nothing in North America apart from lumber and possibly red bricks, which I can get elsewhere, but mainly lumber in Canada West. The only thing I need from the USA. And as I really can't afford to, I don't have the space to put anything, any large amount of lumber in my depot, that can wait until I've got some more space. But yes, I'd almost forgotten about the problem when you come out of a port. Like I say, it's normally, yeah, it's gone. See, now my cargo capacity is back up to 294, and my speed is back up to 260. So, say, blast for a station, sometimes two, maybe even three on rare occasions. I think it happened for length of about three stations when I was in South America upper. Whereas Oceano, it normally, when I first saw it and seen it more frequently, it happens for a station or two. But, this is my new look car. It's going to be pretty simple to upgrade. Plus two cargo if you're using a yellow diesel engine. I don't think a yellow diesel engine is a choice in the PC version of this game. Oh, I really should check the caboose, see how much money I've got in it. 76,000. I'll take 76,000 quite happily. I will, by the time I finish playing around with the cargo in South America, should have a load more money. I just straight depart. I say, I also said about not picking up lumber. Well, I'm going to the place where lumber is. So if there happens to be some along the way, like there's six in Vancouver and two in Kamloops, I will pick it up while I'm there. But I'm not going out of my way to pick up lumber. The other reason I'm trying to do the story is because I'm about to do a complete a large amount of the requirements for South America. I'd like to complete the South America story so I can see what percentage I've got done and I can work towards getting 100% in South America. Take that. Just let me dump all this stuff, or dump, sell all this stuff that I don't actually want. Or don't need right now. And off we go to Kamloops to continue the next part of the story, the Golden Hockey Stick. Which gives me a wonderful title for this episode. Because every now and then I struggle to come up with titles. And every now and then I get lucky. And one just naturally occurs. A burst of speed to get to Kamloops that little bit faster. I really thought I was going to be headed to Moscow after Beijing. So I had no expectations of coming back to North America. I was thinking I'm going to go to Moscow so I'm going to be able to pick up a load of amber along the way in southern Russia, but here we go with the wonderful, oh it's just a straight pickup is it? One golden hockey stick and two bits of lumber. Lance, this is too beautiful, why is everything made of gold? Catalina, this should be in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Sophia, maybe Justin has a hockey player friend and it is a gift. Oh aren't you naive? Nesta, his only friend is gold. Yeah, that's more a realist. Okay, well I've got the golden hockey stick. And... I need to... Oops. Click the reward. Make a stop at St. John's, Newfoundland. That's where it wants me to go next to continue the story. However, that is going to be after I've opened up the Caribbean. So I'm going to head back to South America to do a load of work in South America. And easiest way of doing getting to South America is go back to this port. 
because I want to clear out my depot. I don't like my depot being as full as it currently is. As I did say, it's currently got three thousand, just just over three thousand nine hundred items in it. A large amount of which is building material in preparation for opening up new areas. But even that, even so, I still would like my depot to be emptier. Like about half, half full is normally nice when I'm about to open up a new area. Okay, well that's where I'm going to end this episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed, or saw something, saw a part of the story, or you hadn't seen before, or were happy with the information about the update and the bug fixes, or just generally you're happy to watch these episodes because you can. But whatever your reason for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you down the track for more of Tiny Rails in the near future. Cheerio!